Good morning. My name is David Greenfield. I'm with Austin Community College Culinary Department. Oh, today I have my first menu of Japan, my international, sorry, my Japanese menu for my international class. We'll have service between 11.30 and 12.30 and to go to 12.45. Uh, right now I have six people in the kitchen on the back of the house. We have 12 to 13 in the front of the house. Nervous as heck, but excited at the same time. So just hopefully everything goes well and we'll see how it goes. Uh, Matt, I got about this 50 shrimp, 50 eggplant. Okay. I don't know if we'll use all those. Okay. This is our second to last service. So, you know, we've already got uh, six of them under our belt and then the semester's over. So you, once you get them all trained up, then they're really ready to launch. This is kind of the last class that they'll take besides their practicum and ready to go out into the industry. Uh, today what I have is uh, my appetizer is a yak chicken yakitori served over a mushroom and leeks. Uh, we also have a micro green salad which is a kohlrabi salad and a snow pea shoot but that's been pickled in rice wine vinegar and sushi vinegar. Uh, we also have a miso soup which will have asparagus tips in it and then our, we have a bento plate which has fried shrimp, fried eggplant and a couple of pickled items and we're making uh, Japanese bread today. The dessert will be a sake jello with a cherry um, whipped cream. Success for me would be being the head chef for the second time, I guess, in two years. Um, American Regional was my first um, chance at it, and I kind of bombed, so hopefully today I'll be successful, and the tickets just don't drive me crazy, and I'm able to maintain service for an hour and 15 minutes. I am 44 years old from Austin, Texas. I started August of 2017. I was working at the time for a company I'd been with for 20 years. My wife got cancer October of 2008, um, and so we were at home quite a bit uh, with her going in and out the hospital. And um, at that time, um, I think it was uh, Hell's Kitchen and stuff was on, and Food Network was just really booming. So sitting at home and helping her out, I just watched a lot of TV and stuff like that. One day I heard uh, Gordon Ramsay say, you're not a chef if you don't know how to make a risotto. So I hopped up and ran into the kitchen and made a risotto. Everybody loved it, and so it kind of took off from there. Um, she passed away August of 2012. Um, so just figuring out what I wanted to do after that, it's a new life for me, really, because I had my son. Um, I think it was 2015, Master Chef came into town and I just took a chance at it to see what would happen. I made a risotto cake with a roasted tomato sauce with a mozzarella on top and I actually got chose out of 30 people. I was in the top 10. So uh, yeah, it was my beginning to me choosing to come to ACC um, and try their culinary program out and it's been a success ever since. I'm glad I did it. I'm Chef Matthew Melton. Um, I am the, one of the adjunct instructors here at ACC. Uh, I teach the nutrition classes, but I also am the instructor for the dining room today. So one of the bigger things that we have is a party of eight that we have today. Um, and it's actually our deans coming as well. So it's going to be very, very exciting. So we're hoping that helps fill out the dining room, even though it's a little bit gloomy outside. So one of the things that we're going to be expecting today is because of the weather, we're going to have a higher amount of to-go orders, which puts a lot more stress on the back kitchen. You know, I got a couple of sauces not cooperating correctly and, you know, just trying to get my mind wrapped around everything. We're getting ready to fire up the grill so we'll have the chicken yakitori going. Um, rice is on. Uh, we're getting ready to deep fry some shrimp, and here in a little bit we should have a couple of plates that we can actually see. Oh yeah, it's gonna look like this, Wu, as much as you can, okay? Here we go. That was very hot. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just trying to be careful because this thing, it's it's either way too hot, like 400, and that's when you get those uh, oil spills, like oil fires, but um, I'm just kind of taking it slow right now. So. You put everything on the grill at 10 and 2. It's just like driver's ed. So you get really nice diamond marks on your presentation. Uh -huh. Okay, this is darker. It's really pinky pinky. Put some cherries in it in. Oh my god. It like a cherry blossom. There we go. Huh? So we were just trying to get the color um, a little bit deeper, but still keep it kind of mellow. I'm always a little nervous before it starts, no matter what job I have. Things can always go wrong, like you can always like mess up an order or something. There's a lot of different variables that happen every class. I am worried about a few things, just the ticket consistency coming in, you know, the craziness of the kitchen. And in my middle, we do have a communication issue, but we'll work through it. Give me a stack of them, please. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to have to do You go with it, so what you're going to do is take a little whipped cream on whipped, pour it in, and gently hold it until they're back and get this as you need. That's whipped cream, right? Because I, I think that's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. This bottle is it's not thick enough, man. <laughs> gotta love it, gotta love it. What yeah, we're gonna do. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. I, my fear was it kind of like, it just brings it back to the consistency you want. Because you didn't you didn't take it too far over. And so I'm not sure how whipped you want it, but I know he's gonna pipe them onto these little martini glasses with the sake bill. So this should be perfect. Yellow right there. Just go like that. Like that? Yeah. Or I can do like a little. little Let me see a round but one. This will be more uniform across the board. Let's go uniform. Okay. okay. Ten fifty nine. We have no time. <laughs> Ten fifty nine. All right. Square bottles going. Uh, right now, it's just really crazy right now, just trying to get everything together. Just nerves are up and down, and, you know, 7.30 was just 20 minutes ago, so yeah, we're, we're going to get it done, though. Uh, uh, we have 15 minutes, so that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's the main reason I'm a little bit worried, because if we don't get figured out in 15 minutes, we are going to be writing tickets by hand. Thankfully, I still can run a credit card, so, so no free meals for anyone. <laughs> so all the food is free is what I heard. Yeah. Um, because of the system that we have set up for the receipt printer, um, sometimes disconnections will happen over the week or whatnot, and so the printer in the back has lost its IP address. And so we can't connect to it, which means that we can't print our tickets straight to the kitchen. Six minutes, doors open. Okay. Well, are we just going to leave them there or what? It could be the We're trying to see if we can figure out how to get the printers back up in time. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to go to our plan B of uh, writing our ticks by hand. Okay. That's really close. Four guys. Yeah, you got four. Four more minutes. This might be down to a wire, guys. Another one that comes out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's one that's been unplugged in here. Okay. So I think we're we have some type of connection back there, but I'm not going until we test. Yeah. Let's see if it Oh. I dig it. Oh yeah. Yeah. It it, it sees so the kitchen, but it's saying it cannot print. Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Then we, never mind. We might be good. Let's see what test print. Server's deassembled. 
No, <laughs> still assembled. Oh. Servers still... reassemble. Re yeah. This isn't in game. Yes. Oh, let me do one more test. Yeah, let's go see it works. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, if someone wants to open up the door real quick and let, start letting them in, I'll be right to the register. Doors are open. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. We got the prices up at the buzzer, right? We opened one minute ago and the printer started working 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Uh, we are going to get about 20 orders all yes. on. So the uh, the yeah. line is already out the door. We've got four tables sat. Yeah. So expect it. You want the house out of Okay, y'all try it. Okay. We know that we're going to start doing giveaways. Let's go right ahead and plate up yeah, two, four, four, six, eight, ten. Let's go ahead and plate up twelve the yeah. inventory. Um, I'm a runner, so I'm just waiting for food to come so I can take it out. I don't really have any other jobs right now, so. I need a bento plate to go. I got one fourteen appetizer and soup. Let me get another special salad. And a special entree. Also need a dessert to go. Two special apps. But he really wants to wait. Maybe after you. Oh. 62, I got two appetizers and a salad. Watch the sesame seeds. I don't want a lot of sesame seeds everywhere. I got a bento and a special app ready to go. For to go. You want that note in? Thank you. That one's very good. That one is Staying on top of things, there are a couple of little areas that we're running short on. We're just starting to fire our second round of our yakitori skewers. Uh, as you can see, the board is starting to fill up and just staying ahead of it as best as we possibly can. I, I, I'm out of cups. Like I said, I needed more cups. No one brought me any. I gotta go. Put that up there with y'all. Extra pepperoni cheese to go. Appetite to go 21. Yeah, it's probably a little harder. 14 and a 61. Can we remove tomatoes and tomatoes from these flavor right here? From the shoe boy? Yeah. The sliced tomatoes? Yeah, no tomatoes or lettuce. No tomatoes or lettuce. No tomatoes or lettuce. Yes, sir. All right, we need to rebuild that. We need to rebuild that. No lettuce or tomatoes. Uh, Good. We have a pretty good turnout. Uh, I'm not full on table, so I hope to see a couple more walk-ins. Rain has uh, kind of held off, so we've actually gotten a pretty good turnout. Um, I think the only way that we could get a little bit better is uh, make sure that everything's coming out on time and uh, try to hopefully get a couple more tables. Out.
I had never had Japanese food before, so this was new for me, and uh, I'm impressed, especially with the quality of the food. Uh, service was fast. It was, it was good, really good. Well, my friend's a chef today, so I decided to order everything on the menu just to see how he's doing. He's come a long way. I enjoyed every bit of it. I had the bento plate, which was really, really good. I enjoyed the shrimp. That was the best thing ever. The food was great. Um, my experience was, was fantastic. Our service was great, and the food was awesome. Here they come, chicken. Was it good? Would you come back to the restaurant? Feeling great. Uh, almost at the end of service, got about 30 more minutes and looking good. Need another dessert. Need another special dessert. Hey. Call, call it when you're ready. Are those desserts beautiful? Thank you. So David Greenfield was our chef of the day and uh, did an outstanding job. Couldn't be prouder of him. Couldn't be happier. Yeah, a couple of visitors. Yeah. All doing great. Now service is almost over. We got eight minutes left. Went well, went beautiful. It was unexpected and just excited all the way around. I think my main issue was I didn't order enough rice, but the place looked beautiful, went out fast, and hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. Yeah, of course. Thank you. We actually were done before we were supposed to be done. Uh, it went so smooth, food came out so fast that people were actually able to linger and uh, hang out at the tables for longer <laughs> than normal. So, you know, I think it went great. So next summer we'll be moving to our new digs in the Highland Mall. We are getting five times larger with five brand new state-of-the-art fantastically equipped culinary labs, a brand new demo kitchen with all the audiovisual stuff, as well as the new restaurant. Currently we are the River Bats Cafe, but the new place is going to be Eatery 73. And we're all tremendously excited about the opportunity. And we expect that Austin Community College's culinary and pastry program, as well as our hospitality program, will really become the crown jewel of culinary education in Central Texas. Here I am almost at the end. I have about another semester left, and then now and into the real world we go. I would love to have a food truck, but if not a food truck, then just doing my catering and also meal prep. So, you know, Chef Harrington, Chef Wagner, Chef Sterno. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be trying to pursue a catering position. But I'm glad I chose ACC.